Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. So today we are back building another beach house in The Sims 3 and this one is actually right next door to the previous beach house I built last week. So this one is taking a more modern take uh, compared to the last house which was more traditional and the name of this house is pretty self-explanatory. I just decided to call it Modern Beach House because I, well, I wasn't really uh, in a creative mood to think of a, a better name. So it's Modern Beach House, which is it's a good name. It's very descriptive. And yeah, so this house ends up being four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. And it is built on a custom place lot in Sunset Valley. So it's basically right next to the public beach that is, you know, obviously by the ocean. So I just placed this lot in using the Edit World tool. And yeah, so as you can see here, it's actually quite nice. And I was able to create a walkout basement because of the um, slope that the lot was on. So this house uh, is it's quite interesting because I, I was not intending to start with a modern house. I was going to build a house kind of in the same style as the one I did last time, but it, it just kind of evolved. As you can see already, uh, I've already kind of put in those doors and kind of made these more modern looking balconies and also this pool here, which is an infinity pool, which is pretty cool. It also has windows in it. But anyway, uh, if you notice at the very, very beginning, I, I put in those archways and kind of those um, French doors with like that are a little bit more ornate than the ones I put in now. And I just didn't like the way it looked, so I decided to kind of try a more modern approach. And I really like the way this house turned out. Uh, I decided to also try to be a bit more time conscious this time because my uh, last video was like 47 minutes. <laughs> so this one is about 10 minutes less because I... I, I tried to be a bit more focused and less dilly-dallying, so it's also a little bit of a smaller house, but I think it's a bit more of an appropriate length for a video of this type, at least in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, so you can see here we're already starting on the roof, and the main thing I wanted was that front roof there, where like the front balcony is, to slope all the way down to the first floor. That was like the main thing I had it, like envisioned before I started building the house. And that's just kind of something I wanted to incorporate. And here I'm putting in a bit of a railing. Uh, I do actually put a railing around the entire front porch later on, but uh, that is to come. And yeah, so right here, just doing the roof already. It's pretty quick compared to the last build. But yeah, as you can see here, uh, just getting in a bit of a porch. Nothing nothing too special, but uh, yeah. So putting in these nice columns here. I actually quite like these columns. They're from The Sims 3 Pets. And they're not meant to be modern, but they kind of work really well in a modern build, I think. And here we're putting in a large balcony, so this is just off the hallway upstairs, and it's a quite large balcony that overlooks the pool. And speaking of the pool, what's really neat about it is the basement level, which I put in uh, earlier, and it has the walkout basement, which you can see, actually has uh, windows that look into the pool, so that's pretty neat. So if you're in the basement, you can kind of see into the pool. And with this house, I wanted to try out some kind of u more unique roof. Uh, I went with that metal kind of like turquoisey color originally, but then I end up changing it because once I put in the exterior, once I put in the exterior colors, uh, I, it just didn't look as good. So I decided to switch it out. I also had a lot of trouble with the floor plan too. On um, the first floor and then even more trouble with the second floor. I wanted to do this kind of double-sided fireplace thing, but it didn't really work out. So it was really annoying because it wouldn't center the fireplace because it's, it's just kind of like a weird size. It's like, I think it fills two blocks in width, but it kind of, because the way I wanted to do it with having this pass through where you can kind of see through to the other room, it uh, it needed to be placed off center and that was really annoying. So I decided to switch it out, which you'll see. But anyway, I also put in some windows there, which are also from pets. I actually ended up using a lot of windows from pets, but they look really interesting. And uh, it's kind of a mixture between modern and rustic, which you'll see especially once I put in all the wood trim and stuff. So it, it kind of is an interesting combination. And here I'm putting in the windows for the pool that look into the basement. So right now I, I don't like the way it looks because I end up switching out those windows because they're kind of too busy. But, you know, that there we go. So those are the actual windows I use. And that looks quite nice. So it's just kind of a clever thing, so you can kind of just see into the pool. I don't know, I always like doing that because I think it's kind of cool. And also the front wall of the pool is also glass, so it's kind of like if you're looking out of the house, like over the pool, it just looks like the pool goes right to the ocean. And also, if you're in the pool, it looks like, you know, the ocean's kind of like right there because the, the wall, the, the pool's glass, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, 
Uh, I, I end up redoing the back of this house uh, right now, what the part I'm working on now. I don't know when I like actually finish redoing it because for a little while I have it like this, which looks a little strange. Oh, here we go. Actually, right there, I just redid it. Yeah, but I do change the roof because that just does look kind of weird. And right now I'm putting in these stairs that go to the basement. So there you go. I've used glass stairs. And I'm also going to try to figure out the first floor floor plan. Uh, right here on the, well, what I was just looking at there, by the, here we go. Uh, right, oh, okay, well, to the right of what I'm doing right now, where I just put that window, that's like the formal living room area, so it's not the actual living room living room, like where the TV and fireplace are, but it's kind of like a formal room uh, where that has really nice ocean views. And then uh, right now, well, right now I'm putting in some columns, but, and then we will get on to putting in the, uh, living room, dining room, and kitchen areas, or at least sectioning those off. But right now I'm putting in some columns uh, just to make uh, some of those edges that I put in on the walls uh, look a little nicer. And I also put in a lot of trellises. Uh, there's basically a trellis over every single porch or balcony, and I think it looks kind of nice. It's kind of an interesting touch there as well. And right here I'm just changing out the color of the, uh, whatever those are, the half wall tops, I guess. Anyway, and here's another trellis, as you can see. And I'm also going to put some more later on, probably. They're all over the place. And also putting in some more windows. And as you can see, I've used, especially in the front, I've used some of those windows from the Now and Then Century Manor set, which are very traditional style windows, but they kind of work really well in this house. I don't know why. It just it just seems like a really good combination. And yeah, here I'm putting in another... another wow, I tried to say another twice, and I messed that up twice. Another trellis. And as you can see... Uh, it doesn't look that great right now, especially the roof looks a little strange, so I'm going to change that and it'll look a little better. And right here, I'm putting in some doors for the basement level, and I actually, somehow I made it so it was just a tiny bit, like the walls were just a tiny bit too short, so I had to re-level the entire house. I had to raise up the basement walls and then go through and adjust every single window and door because then they were all too low. So that was a little annoying, but it all worked out, so there you go, just doing that. And here I can now put in doors on the basement, so that's nice. And here I'm just adjusting the windows. I ended up getting rid of those little arched windows because they just don't really work that well. And I'm also going to put in some nice doors and windows over here for that bedroom. And I have to say, even though the house looks really cool, I highly doubt this kind of thing would be very practical in real life, especially since the basement level is the same level as the ocean, so I imagine that it'd probably be some level of groundwater or flooding or something happening there or even if there's a, a tropical storm or something and the water level rises up it would probably flood the basement so you know it's a great house in the sims probably wouldn't be so great in real life but it looks cool so i guess in a video game that's all that matters and right here i'm putting in uh the actual floor plan for the first floor so in the front's the living room this is the kitchen that we're looking at here and obviously the dining room is where the dining table is and yeah, it's a pretty nice floor plan, very simple. And down here we have a study, kind of like a bonus room, and then uh, a bedroom and two bathrooms. So it's actually quite a bit of extra space uh, when you count in the basement. That, that uh, makes the house quite a bit more spacious because otherwise it's not that big of a house. And uh, yeah, so there's the bedroom and it has an ensuite bathroom. And then there's the study, which I'll, which I'll, oh gosh, I keep talking too fast. I like, it sounds like the word is coming out great at the beginning, and then I just somehow mess it up. I need to slow down a bit. But as I was saying, there's also a study with an ensuite bathroom. And uh, up here on the second floor, I had a lot of trouble with the floor plan because it's a very weird shape, and there's a lot of balconies everywhere. So it, it was a little bit of a challenge to work out what I wanted to do up here. I ended up getting three bedrooms and two bathrooms on this level, and the master suite is actually quite nice. So we have the front bedroom there, which has the angled wall, so you can get so your Sims can get around the stairs there. There's also a smaller bedroom there off to the side, and then the master bedroom and bathroom are here at the back, obviously, so they can have the ocean views, which is quite nice. There's also a nice balcony there off the master bedroom, and yeah, I'm just putting in those beds temporarily just so I can get a, a sense of scale for the rooms, so that way I know that they are of a decent size. And then you'll see once I put in the fireplace, the chimney causes a few issues because I forgot to do that before I laid out the floor plan. So that was great. But anyway, here I'm adjusting the roof again because uh, it looks pretty horrible right now. And I end up, I think, bringing, I don't know what I actually do. I can't remember. I guess we'll find out together. 
So yeah, the front obviously stays the same. I do put a trellis out front because, you know, gotta make it all match. And I'm gonna put in some columns too, I believe. Uh, so just to kind of make it uh, look a little bit more supported. And then, yeah, I don't know what I do for the roof, but whatever I do makes it look a lot better. There we go, that's what I do. Great, yeah, it looks way better that way because otherwise it was kind of strange because the slopes of the roof didn't really line up. So right now it looks good, so that's what I ended up doing. And I think we're gonna move on to the exterior colors fairly soon, I, I believe, I don't know for sure. Oh, we're doing it right now. Wow, that was great timing. So I ended up just taking the default color from some of the windows from Pets and I kind of put it on all the windows and doors. I also use it on this wood that I use all over the place on the outside and on the inside of the house. And that's what I was talking about with kind of the more rustic look is the, the wood makes it look a lot more rustic and I really like the way it, it looks. It's it's kind of like a, uh, it's not like it's really dark or depressing, it's just a very natural look and I think it looks quite nice. And I also kind of put it going uh, horizontally here on the uh, half walls just so that doesn't look a little, doesn't look too strange. And yeah, it all works together pretty nicely and I just decided to supplement the wood with uh, some white stucco which you'll see in a moment. Uh, otherwise, just to lighten it up a bit because otherwise it's kind of monotonous. So. Here we go, so there's just some white stucco. And yeah, I quite like it. I think it works really well, especially it, it does a good job of blending the rustic elements with the modern style of the house. So it almost kind of looks like a house that was more traditional house that was then renovated into a modern house. I kind of like that because it kind of makes it look like the house has a story behind it. I don't know, you can also just see I changed the roof. I made it kind of this steel um, tiles. It wasn't not really tiles, like these steel panels that I've never used that before and they look really cool. So I ended up doing that and I, yeah, it's just something kind of different. And it also makes the house look a lot more modern. So right here's the problem I had with the chimney. So there's a tiny little uh, hallway upstairs. And also for some reason, The Sims 3 bases the chimney height off of the roof height and it makes the chimney too tall all the time. It just looks bizarre. So I had to lower the roof height all over the place to get the chimney to be lower, and then it was too low, so I had to raise up the roof a bit, place the chimney, and then fix the roof. So there you go, got the chimney to the right height. Because normally I, I um, build walls around the chimney that kind of have the fireplace, like the default fireplace chimney hidden inside um, a bunch of like normal wall pieces, but I didn't do that with this house, because I kind of like the concrete chimney that just came with this fireplace. And I was gonna add a second fireplace in the basement, but the chimney just did not work and it looked really silly, so I decided to get rid of that. And it just has the one fireplace, because I mean, to be fair, it's a beach house, so I can't imagine that you'd really need a fireplace. I mean, unless, I mean, of course there's beaches in cold places, you know, especially like in Massachusetts or Maine or whatever. I mean, you have beaches that are probably nice in the summer, but get cold in the winter, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, who knows what kind of climate Sunset Valley is, but it's a, uh, I like having fireplaces, it kind of looks nice. Um, the kitchen was also a challenge because as you can see, one wall has two archways and the other wall has a bunch of doors and the back wall has some giant windows and the other wall has another archway. So there's like no good solid wall. So I kind of put this island coming out here for the oven and also some stools. Uh, one of the stools I pushed in because it's otherwise it would be blocking the archway. And I put in some different windows in the back wall so I could put some counters along that wall without it looking strange from outside. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. So we have the sink there and then the fridge is on the back wall, which would be kind of inconvenient because like the flow of the kitchen would be a little strange because the fridge is like on the other side of the island, but you know what, your Sims can deal with it. And right there I put in a half bathroom and a laundry room. So that's good for convenience. And uh, yeah, the dining table is, it's kind of a, also a difficult situation. There I go. I don't know why I keep messing up my words, my goodness. It's also a difficult situation in the dining room because the dining table um, kind of wouldn't really go anywhere without move objects except for that one little corner. So I put it in the corner because I want all the chairs to be usable. And I ended up using one of my favorite floor tiles. I actually haven't used it in ages, but it's from late night. And I put it in the living room there, if you probably just saw it briefly. And also there is a nice fountain for the pool because, you know, that's classy. And uh, I'm also going to put in probably some stairs at some point. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Uh, not those ones, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't let me put in stairs without constraint for elevation. I don't know why, but I put in some constraint for elevation, and there it goes. And it worked. Brilliant. Yeah, there you go. So there's some stairs. That's lovely. And just putting the columns back. And yeah, so uh, put in. Actually, I think those are the only stairs uh, that go out of the house. So 
because you can't you have to go um, downstairs and out the back to get to the beach you can't go down some stairs from the first floor but that's all right and you can see in here in the in the formal living room I use the same uh, actually wall patterns that I used on the outside there's the same wood and the same stucco I thought it looked kind of cool uh, and right here I'm putting in the furniture is a little odd like it was kind of difficult to figure out the layout here because I wanted a piano because I like pianos in houses because I think they look kind of cool but I also wanted these two couches to face each other so I was it was a little cramped but it actually looks pretty good and of course the couches have a good view of the ocean there uh, with those giant windows and the pool as well so it's kind of a cool view out the out of this room because you can kind of see the pool and then the ocean like just beyond it so I also didn't really put any window coverings on the walls that face the ocean because, of course, in The Sims 3, um, you know, it doesn't... Oh, wow. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's cicadas outside, and they're very loud. I only just noticed them. That's what you get for filming... Or not filming, recording in the evening. I don't know if you can hear it, but all of a sudden, it just got, like, really loud. Anyway, that's off topic. So I ended up not putting any window coverings that on windows that look out the back of the house because in The Sims 3, you can't... Like your Sims, I wish it would be really cool if like blinds could be put all the way up or all the way down, or curtains could be open or closed. But like those blinds are like halfway down the window, so if I put them on the back window, then it blocks the ocean view. So it'd be cool if you could kind of put in window coverings, but have like the blinds all the way up so they're there, but they're not blocking the view. But you know that's never going to happen because it's those things are kind of too fiddly and realistic for this kind of game. But Oh well. And here I'm just putting in some stuff in the entrance room. So there's a little shoe rack, a little side table, also a foot mat. I mean a welcome mat thing. I don't know. Anyway, uh, here is the living room. Uh, this is the like, the other room was just the formal living room. This is kind of the more laid back living room. You have the fireplace, the TV. I was going to do this hexagonal uh, coffee table, or actually that's octagonal huh? coffee table. Didn't do it though because it just looked strange so I ended up just doing a normal coffee table and also I love these couches I used them in the last house too I think I used these couches and that matching chair in almost all my builds because I just love the way they look they, they're very nice with the pillows that you can change the color of I approve so uh, I use those here in kind of this minty green color I wanted to mix it up a bit and here I'm also putting in this nice uh, rug with a very interesting kind of pebble pattern on it and another thing about this house, I only used uh, wood floors and tile floors. I didn't use any carpet, uh, which is something I don't usually do. Even the bedrooms don't have carpet. And you can also see those uh, lights that I, I use the same lights in all my houses. Um, you can see them right there. But I actually used two of them and put one, in a, one on an angle and one facing the normal direction. So it kind of makes this almost like star shape, which I think looks really cool. So that's a kind of idea I had, kind of like merging the two together. You can kind of see that there over the coffee table. And uh, that's the living room done, pretty much. And we're moving on now to the half bathroom. So it's it's a pretty standard half bathroom. Uh, it's nothing nothing to write home about, but it's got, uh, got a lot of space and also a giant window that looks out to the public beach. So I put a blind on that. And I also use this really interesting green countertop uh, in the kitchen and, the, on the, and in this bathroom, too. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it's very different, I suppose. I haven't used it before, I don't think, but, you know, that's why I thought I'd put in. Also putting in the window coverings, of course, for some privacy, and there is a nice mirror as well, and some details around the place. I also like the flooring in here, too. It's really interesting. It's kind of like this fancy tile pattern, and it's not that modern, per se, but I, I quite like it. I think that it, it looks kind of interesting and unique. Anyway, we're moving on now to the dining room. So yeah, the table is kind of in a weird position because it's in the corner, but this was the only place I could put it without using move objects, so that's the only way I can ensure that all the chairs will actually function correctly. So, you know, I, I put in the other side of the room this kind of, like, buffet table, so you, if your sims are, like, entertaining or whatever. And if it was real life, because you can't do this in the game, but if it was a real house, you'd put, like, uh, food out there, like, serve food there, so... That's why it's a buffet table, because it's for, like, buffets. So, you know, that's just kind of in there. Or, and, you know, if there's there's actually no cabinets underneath, but in real life, you'd probably have cabinets under there to store stuff. But anyway, that's the dining room. So now we're moving on to the kitchen. So it's, a, again, like I said, it's kind of an interesting shape, and I, I quite like it. It's very bright, and you have those two doors there that lead out to the pool. So, you know, it, has, it also has a fantastic view. And I feel like I always build these houses backwards. Like, I feel like... 
ideally you'd probably want the living room in the back of the house that faces the ocean you know what i mean so you can kind of like sit back and relax and look out the water and then the kitchen kind of in the front of the house because you know you're cooking in there not really looking at the view but for some reason i always build them this way because i always build my houses with the living room in the front and then the kitchen in the back and i don't know why but it's just it always always do that not always i shouldn't say always but i almost almost always do that and with these houses i always feel like it's kind of like wrong to have the kitchen facing the back of the house where the water where the ocean is but it's all right i mean it's the sims so it's not like the end of the world but i still think it looks really cool when you're kind of in the kitchen like you bring the, bring the camera down into the room you can kind of see out the windows and it looks really cool and yeah anyway so this is the the laundry room that was the laundry room and this here's a little extra space i had so i just kind of put in some thingamabobs just to kind of make it look like it's detailed and here I'm putting in some uh, wood on the decks and balconies and stuff, just so it looks nice. And I'm going to take a sip of water, as I usually do at this point in the video, so don't mind me. Alrighty. So right now I'm going to start on the basement uh, bonus room. I kind of mostly do it, and then I come back at the very end of the video and finish it up. Uh, oh, actually, or maybe I'm not going to do it now. Oh no, I think I will. Yeah. Um... Mm, excuse me. Uh, sorry. So down here, uh, I have just some various things. I have a pool table, and I also put in this kind of nice uh, kitchenette. So there's a mini fridge and a sink and a dishwasher. Not a dishwasher. Why would you have a dishwasher? And a uh, microwave oven. That's what I was thinking. And there's also a dartboard and a little sitting area. You know, it's just a kind of a you know basic room. It also opens up to the beach right onto the sand. So uh, if you if you know, the people living here don't want sand in their house. They're going to be pretty unhappy because I imagine there'd be a lot of sand tracked in from the beach, which is why the, the entire basement is tiled because I imagine that even though it's not that realistic to have a basement, at least, you know, it's it's at least some kind of, you know, a th um, consideration that there might be sand and water on the floor down here. So, you know, even the bedroom down here also has this kind of really cool red tile floor. And, uh... This bedroom also is kind of like, I call it the guest suite because it is, it is a suite. It has an ensuite bathroom and it's quite nice. It's actually the second largest bedroom in the house after the master bedroom. It actually might even be a little bit bigger than the master, I'm not sure. But it's really nice and it has these kind of double dressers and it has um, not really any kind of view because the window on the front there actually looks out to the underside of the porch in the front of the house. So. It, the inside of the room just kind of looks out to just some sand. Um, there's no actual view. So it is probably a little depressing, but it is a nice room. I quite like the colors and stuff. It's very interesting. And it kind of has that like orange and yellow rug, which is kind of cool. And also this nice mirrored wall that kind of makes the room look bigger. So yeah. And I'm also going to put in a nice bathroom as well that matches the room, of course. And yeah, so it's quite nice, quite nice room. And and yeah, so, I don't know, I've kind of run out of things to say about that room, but it's nice, as you can probably see. Very, very nice. Oh, also, with the bathrooms, I put in the showers. I actually haven't done these in ages, but I used this kind of shower from, it's like from a store set. And I put in, I was going to make it fully enclosed with a door, but I decided against doing that. So I put in a little kind of custom shower where it's... The, that like shower and then you put in like a, the glass windows from into the future that kind of makes it look like a fancy modern shower so there you go that's what I ended up doing and I think almost all the bathrooms have this uh, it was it was originally um, I think done by James from the Sims Supply like years and years ago like probably when the Sims 3 into the future came out like in 2013 but I haven't done it in a very long time so I thought I'd put it in this house because it kind of suits the style so there you go I mean I imagine that it would probably be kind of uh, messy because a lot of the water would get out of the shower because there's no door but you know it looks cool so I thought I thought it was kind of nice to put that in and uh, I'm also gonna do the study now uh, the study has this wood floor that I actually made stone so it's kind of an interesting thing where it's like a wood pattern but it's actually stone so I thought that was kind of cool and yeah it also has those windows that look out to the pool and what's cool about them is if you're in the room and look out those windows it not only looks in, into the pool but also through the windows on the other side of the pool to the ocean so it's kind of a cool view so that's pretty neat i originally put the desk facing the wall but realized that was pretty silly because then you can't see outside so i flipped it around so whoever's working there can view the ocean 
And yeah, it's a pretty simple office. Gets a lot of uh, light in it because of the windows there, which is quite nice. And also some chairs as well. So if they want to, you know, if whoever is working here wants to have a meeting of some sort. And yeah, so pretty nice. And just putting in some uh, fire alarms and, and burglar alarms and all the important stuff like that. And also a nice rug here in the study. So it looks a little nice, a little nicer. Very interesting color on the rug as well. <laughs> very, uh, very unique rug there. And uh, this office also has an ensuite bathroom, so I suppose if you're working and you don't want to have to go upstairs or something, you can just go to the bathroom right there. I, I, ideally, this bathroom would have the door going out to the kind of bonus room there, but the stairs kind of blocked that, so oh well. And I kind of use this really interesting light green tile too, which I thought looked kind of cool. So yeah, it's a pretty simple bathroom. It's also got a shower, so not, I don't know why you need a shower in a bathroom off of an office, but Got a shower there as well, so it's a full bathroom, and it's quite nice. So there you go. Very, very cool. So there, that's the whole basement level pretty much done, except I will come back and add some more stuff to the bonus room, So because right now it's a little bare, so I will do that. But yeah, anyway, so that's pretty much that. So we're going to move on now to the uh, second floor and the three bedrooms that I have up here. It's also that little weird open area I put in over there in that corner, so... I don't know, that was kind of cool. Anyway, uh, there's also um, some nice bathrooms up here too, which I think I'm gonna start off with the bathrooms, perhaps, or not. You know what? We'll probably, I'm probably gonna be unpredictable and start with some landscaping, because you know, why not? But, or maybe I'm just gonna put the railing in, like I said I was gonna do. So there you go, there's the railing uh, in the front of the house, just so it looks a little more finished, as opposed to having no railing there. And, uh, yeah, some more little details. Just oh yeah, the one thing that's kind of annoying when you put a trellis in like that and put a column, there's like this gap between the trellis and the column. So I kind of put these little deck, like filled in some of the little triangles with the flooring, just so the column is actually touching the trellis. Uh, you know, because otherwise it looks a little strange. But anyway, uh, we're detailing the upper stairs. The upper stairs. <laughs> the upstairs. We're detailing the upstairs. With a bookshelf and a rug and a plant, and we're also oh yeah, so I was changing out the floor mats there because the zebra pattern was a little little too much zebra pattern in there, and uh, just putting in a little mirror over there because why not? Uh, why not have a good chance to see your see yourself as you're walking down the hallway? But anyway, here's the bathroom on the upstairs uh, on the second floor, and it's kind of just a hall bathroom, and you know because the only the master bedroom up here has an ensuite, so. This bedroom, kind of, this bathroom, sorry, kind of uh, is for the other two bedrooms, and so yeah, it's pretty simple. Ba uh, pretty simple bathroom. It has a tub shower combination, and all the other essentials that you'd expect. Also, creative style was starting to lag at this point, which was not fun. Yeah, right here is like a big moment of lag. You can see I'm just like waiting for the eyedropper tool to like stop freaking out. It looks like it barely took any time. Obviously, sped up, but I was like sitting there like, oh gosh, please don't crash. Just Figure yourself out game. It's not a big deal, but yeah. Some like The Sims 3, it runs pretty well for me, but sometimes it's just like those little hiccups that are a little frustrating, but anyway. Uh, right now we're doing one of the guest bedrooms here. This is the one that's in the front of the house, so it has a very large balcony, actually, that overlooks the street, so not the best view, but it is a nice bedroom, and I kind of, uh, you know, wanted to make it look a bit more unique with the color choices, so I kind of made it this really interesting turquoisey blue. It's like a dark turquoisey blue. Not really turquoise, I don't know why I'm calling it that. It is more of a true blue, but it's really nice. And uh, also that interesting uh, artwork there over the bed, too, is kind of cool. It's kind of like this uh, Japanese-inspired piece, which is nice. And uh, also I, I tried using different textures in each room, having a different kind of textured walls, if you uh, noticed that, because I usually I just kind of put on wallpaper, but that doesn't really work with this kind of house. So I kind of use these kind of different masonry textures that kind of look really cool and then make them very light, kind of off-white colors. So each room is kind of not like, the walls in each room aren't like all different colors, but they're different textures, and the color, the color differences are very faint, but it kind of sets them apart, which is nice. And I'm also putting in a little reading area, or a little sitting area, whatever, uh, in the corner there. So it's pretty nice. And yeah, that's pretty much the bedroom, or at least this bedroom. So there you go. And also putting, a, <laughs> putting an alarm clock downstairs. And yeah, so this is another guest bedroom. This is kind of like a more grayish blue color uh, in here with a very interesting bedspread. It's kind of like this zebra pattern, uh, but it's like this blue space theme 
uh, instead of the black zebra stripe. So that's kind of cool. I don't know, that was very interesting. And again, you can see it's a very light colored wall, but it also uses a different masonry texture, which I thought was kind of cool. And I also use this very interesting mirror there over the bed to kind of make it look a little different, very unique. And also these kind of cool uh, uh, lamps and stuff. So yeah, I like the furnishing in this house. Actually very cool, very different. And uh, just putting in some various artwork around the room, of course, kind of make it look nice and fancy. And also this room has a TV too. It's all the only bedroom with a TV. So that's fun. Even the master bedroom doesn't have a TV because it actually uh, has the glass wall that looks out over the ocean. So I don't really want to put a TV to block that. So I thought it would be nice just to have the nice glass wall. And the master bedroom is actually very interesting, which you'll see that coming up soon because I believe that's the next room we do. But yeah, here we go. Finishing up this bedroom here. And I believe, I believe that's pretty much it. I also like the rug too. The rug is really cool. Kind of like this gradient stripes. But anyway, uh, we're doing the master bedroom now. At first, I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, I wanted the bed to face the windows there at the back. So, like, if you're in bed, you can see the ocean. So I kind of put this uh, partition wall here, which then I make glass, and then I put this hologram, this holographic artwork from The Sims 3 Into the Future over it, which actually looks really cool. I did that in a house, like, three years ago, or two years, two or three years ago. No, actually, it was three years ago. Wow. Like, th over three years ago... Uh, in a house. I kind of did that same idea in the master bedroom. It looks really cool. And I also love the bedspread I put in here. It's not this one. I'm putting in, there we go. I think it's a really cool bedspread. It's kind of like this purple waves. That looks really cool. I don't know. It's a very interesting pattern. I like trying to find different patterns I don't normally use uh, for the bedspreads and stuff, just to kind of make it look unique. And again, even though it's not particularly realistic, I didn't use any window um, coverings on the windows there. So Obviously, so obviously in real life you'd probably have blinds there and then during the day you'd have them all the way up so you can see outside and at night you'd close them. But in The Sims, the blinds just block the view so I didn't put them in. Anyway, um, oh gosh, excuse me, my throat is giving up on me. Let me get another sip of water. Ah, oh, that's better. Alrighty, there's the holographic scenery. Looks really cool. I end up changing the windows uh, so they you don't have like the frames there, so... I put in the Into the Future windows, which obviously are probably meant to go with that. Anyway, and it looks really cool, because, I mean, obviously in real life, you, there's no such thing as holographic scenery, but you could imagine maybe it's like a paint, something that's like painted on the glass or something like that. It's just kind of like a cool artwork thing that just looks really nice. I don't know. I think it's very it's very interesting. And right now we're doing the master bathroom, uh, which is the largest bathroom in the house, pretty fittingly. And it has, you know, all the stuff that you'd expect a master bathroom to have. It has a tub, shower, toilet, double sinks, all that good stuff. And it's also, it's also a larger shower than the other bathrooms. Also, I feel like my voice is, like, I'm losing my voice from talking for so long. I don't know why. I don't know. It, it sounds, I feel like I'm, I sound different. I don't know. Um, hopefully, I don't, like, sound like I'm dying or something. But I'm, I'm not. I'm fine. Maybe I just need more water. Anyway, um, right here you can see... Uh, the flooring is really cool, actually. I, I like that flooring. Again, with this house, I was trying to find kind of different flooring and different um, bedspread patterns and different textures and stuff to use that kind of make it look more unique. So that was a flooring choice that I discovered there. That's from Late Night, I believe. And also some artwork there. I had some trouble finding artwork at the end because I pretty much used, I feel like, everything that would fit in the house. So it was kind of a struggle to find good art pieces, like once I started getting to the end of the build. But anyway, we're almost done here. We only have like a couple minutes left of building. So after this building part, there's going to be some screenshots that I hope you stick around for. And also, if you enjoyed uh, this video, uh, I greatly appreciate it if you check out the other videos I have on my channel, because they're also quite snazzy, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, and if you enjoy what you see, it would be great if you consider subscribing. So... Right now I'm putting in some landscaping, which surprisingly I haven't done yet. Uh, so that's pretty much what I do to wrap it up. I don't do too much landscaping because then again, it is a beach. So it's not like you're going to have mass amounts of plants growing on the sand. But I still like to make it look a little bit less barren. So I tend to put plants in the sand anyway. And yeah, just putting in all those final touches here just around the place. Also some nice uh, lounge chairs there on the beach with the nice umbrella. So that looks kind of cool. And also just putting some lounge chairs on all the balconies and stuff just around the place just so if your Sims want to lounge outside, they can do that. And also some outdoor lighting, of course. That's very important. Um, I like the way that the houses look with outdoor lighting because it makes it look a bit nicer at night. And uh, yeah, so just basically just a last-minute touches here, putting in some tile in the pool 
because I hadn't even done that yet. And also some cool details with like a ladder and some lights, which is always convenient to have. And yeah, so I'm gonna pop into the basement and just kind of finish up the final room a little bit, the uh, bonus room there, because I haven't actually completely finished it yet, but I will soon, so that's good. And also just some floor mats as well, uh, so your sims don't track in too much sand, hopefully. And yeah, so just uh, wrapping it up here, um, I'm gonna put in some more details. I don't even know. I feel like I do it like at the last second. We have like 10 seconds left putting in some quick final details here. And anyway, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this house building video and I hope that I see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.